Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. Each Wednesday morning, we try to bring you a message from our Lord. He speaks to you, and he tells you what is needed to have a much happier life. So I know our Father is here, so let us begin. Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to just have a general conversation with you. I would like you all to take a moment and think about how you want to live your lives. Do you want to live your life in fear of death? Do you want to hurt others? Do you want others to dislike or hate you? Do you want others to show anger towards you? I would think not to all those answers. The key to not having any of those emotions shown by you or towards you is simply following my words. Take, for instance, a single message that I give you every week as I speak. Don't do anything to anyone else that you don't want done to you. It's a common logic, common sense. Do you want people showing anger towards you? I hope not. Do you want people to hate you? Many people do, but a normal person doesn't. You see, it becomes very simple. If you think about how your decisions and actions affect others, then it shows you a pretty clear path how you should proceed at any moment of your life. Today, as I speak to you and tell you every week, Evil is everywhere. Now, just what is evil? Evil is an influence for you not to follow my words. You see, if you were not influenced, it could be by people around you, by your peers. It could be by anybody. If you are influenced by evil energies in others, then you're more inclined to follow those evil energies. Step back and think about how much or how many of those evil energies you could come up with on your own. Very few. You see, you were born with no evil energies. Your parents taught you how to respond to situations. They trained you. And in those trainings, evil energy became a part of your life. It's because you cannot always be surrounded by people that believe in me. You see, in these modern times, it's becoming easier not to believe in me. People believe that technologies can prove that I don't exist. Well, I'm going to show you through a video that Barry is going to do in the near future that I really did exist and that I exist today. You see, this has all been part of the foundation we've been laying. I'm going to show you images that will actually prove it. I've been telling you this all along, but many of you have doubted. But you will find out that there was a time I walked the earth. There was a time I resurrected. There's a time that I've been in heaven and that I still come to individuals to prove my existence. It is just that you should use faith to prove my existence. That's what I want of you. I could give you instantaneous proof of my existence, but you need to have faith. Faith is the foundation of belief. You have to believe in me. I understand totally that many of your greatest brains and intellectuals came to the conclusion that I don't exist. You see, I do this just to prove how uninformed most humans are. Humans think they know much more than they do. The truly intelligent person learns how much he does not know. There are so many things that humans do not know at this time. 
and I'm not prepared to let them learn. They have to be able to handle the information. And if they don't believe in me, they can't handle a lot of the information. It actually surrounds them at this current time. Think about how amazing it is that your most intellectual individuals think they can prove I don't exist. All they have to do is listen to my words, read my books, understand my life and my true teachings. Maybe my, two, my true teachings are too simple for them. Maybe they're so simple it goes over their heads. They think they know all the laws of physics and math and that these laws are rules that Mother Nature must follow. If they're so smart, let them truly explain my resurrection. No one can. It's never been done before, never been done after. No matter how brilliant these people are, they're never going to figure out how I resurrected and returned. You see, there's no laws of nature that, or physics that can explain that. You will find that faith makes your life so much easier. It's your responsibility, if you're going to advance in heaven, to help others. If you have the opportunity to help the young, that's really important. You need to help the young lay a foundation of love and understanding and belief. If they truly believe that I exist and that I will help lead them through their lives, they're going to be far more happy than an individual that is out there struggling to understand all of the problems that are following them throughout their lives. Many people ask, why things are happening the way they are. You had a life plan. You chose most of those. As long as you help yourself follow the life plan that the guides will try to put you on each and every day, things will might be much better for you. But you see, you'll only be able to follow that life plan if you ask for directions through prayer. And... Prayer depends on belief on me, and the belief on me depends on faith. So you see, it always comes around to faith. Proof is good, but you never know when proof is true. People tell you there's a 100% probability, but they do not take into consideration what I am capable of. Have your most intelligent people tell you what the probability is of somebody resurrecting from the grave and returning. They can't even figure that probability because it is so great against it ever happening. Simply because the odds of it ever happening again are zero. I'm not planning on returning. I did what I can do. I brought out my basic trainings, and many humans understood and actually followed me to a martyr to death. You see, I told them that things would be better in heaven, that it would be something I couldn't describe. And when they passed and believed in me, they would truly join me in that heaven. Then I resurrected and went into that heaven myself. I led, I led what was supposed to be understood by those that had heard my words. You see, I had to die and do this. I had to set the example. Now, each of you can set an example of faith. I'm not expecting you to try to resurrect because that's not going to work well. I certainly don't want you creating a suicide and ending your life plan prematurely. But I do want you to believe the words that I speak. 
And I do want you to understand. I thought today I would approach things a little different. I would simply like to speak, as I said, in general terms, and talk to you like a father would talk to you. You see, there's a spark of my energy in all of you, so I am your father. So I have the right to do this. I want you to speak to those around you as simply as you are hearing me speak today. There's no need to complicate things. There's no need to believe that you have to rely on the sacraments of a church for salvation. You see, that's what many churches want you to believe. But the simple act of belief and following my words will gain you as much as if you go to church and spend eight hours a day, seven days a week. Many people go to church and do this. They spend much time there proclaiming how much they believe in me. Then they go out and do as they please. They do things that I would never suggest to them. They use their wealth to hoard it, to save it for their families. They ignore the blessing that we have bestowed upon them. You see, we want you to use a portion of that wealth to help others. You will never hear me say that you should use every penny and live in poverty to help others. What I want you to do is experience a happy life. A happy life will be the result of following my words. The happier you are in life, the more inclined you will be to help others. If you're living in depression, if you're living in self-doubt, then you will not have the energies that are required to help others. If you're fearing death, you will not help others. How do you expect to prepare others to enter the kingdom of heaven if you fear it yourself? You can't. That's more the common sense of which I speak. It is never too late to build that foundation of faith. You can build it late in your life. No, I'd rather see you build it much earlier in your life so that you can be happier longer. I don't want you to live in fear, depression. I don't want you to show hatred or be hated. None of that will happen if you build that foundation that I existed, that I resurrected, and that I am bringing you words of guidance that will truly allow you to achieve what you should achieve in this human life. There is much more for you to learn. You will truly be astonished if you live to learn it. But you see, I've given you short lifetimes. Because humans are very slow learners. I want them to return to my heaven in a short period of time so that they can be told what they did not learn, which of my words they abused, and what they need to do the next time they decide to return to an incarnate life. The knowledge of that short lifetime should be the stimulus needed to understand my words that I speak. You will not be here forever. And when you leave, you certainly are not going to take that wealth with you. But you will be judged for what you did while you were here. You were supposed to follow a life plan. If you were given great wealth, you can rest assured that helping others was in that life plan. Life plans are given to you as a guide to live your life. What could be more simple? If you ask for direction in prayer by prayer, the angels, the saints, the guides, myself, we will all try 
to guide you, to show you what you must do. The easiest way to learn what you should do is simply listen to my words. I've sent Barry back to bring them to you. Very few people in reality listen to his words. They think that he possibly cannot be speaking my words. Well, I'm telling you, he is. And if you listen to the words that he speaks and the words that he writes in his books, you will truly build that foundation of faith that will lead you through a happy life. You think you can do it on your own. There are people out there that think they have the powers of God, but they don't. On their final day, they will truly learn that they're not God. Don't take a chance on ruining a perfectly good human life. Live the realities of my words. They're not hard to follow. Don't do anything to anyone that you would not have done to you. It's as simple as it gets. When you're forced to make a decision, ask yourself if you're hurting others or an individual. Every individual is equal in my eyes. There is no doubt about that. When you return, you will understand the true equality. You may think because you gain great wealth that you are a superior person. The reason you gained that wealth is because you were blessed by the proper in intellect, the proper choice of decisions, and because we wanted you to succeed so that you could help others. It's that simple. Build the foundation. I will give you the tools to hear the words and to see the proof of my life. I'm taking that step now, and you will understand something. You will understand the absolute proof of my existence. I come to you every week and try to help you. Many of you are here all the time listening. Many of you tell others. Many of you are ridiculed for trying to tell others. That is part of life. Because those others have no understanding or foundation, they have not as yet taken the most important steps that they should take in their life, which is simply to believe in me. So as you face the new year, understand that it is a time of change. It is a time where you can have influence. It is a time where you have no reason not to believe in me. So I bless all of you that are listening. I truly bless all of you that are spreading my words. I know who you are, and you will be rewarded. So goodbye. We'll be back again next week. I have much more to say. Thank you. Another incredible message, Father. I'm so happy that you've chosen me to spread these words. We'll be back again next Wednesday. Watch for this new video that I'm about to make. It'll really change your life. So, with that little tease, I'm going to say goodbye. And I will indeed return again next week with the words of our Father. Mm -hmm.